The Brackets Text Editor has a number of file transfer protocol extensions that can be added to it. This video demonstrates how to install and configure the EQFTP extension in Brackets. As with most Bracket extensions, you will install the EQFTP tool using the Brackets Extension Manager. Open the manager and search for FTP. The EQ FTP tool will appear in the list. Click Install on its line in the list. To obtain more information, click the More Info link or go to the developer's website at the URL shown. After the tool is installed, Close the Extension Manager. The EQFTP tool will appear as a folder icon with a line underneath it, representing a connect network connection, I think, on the right side of the Brackets window. There are two steps to setting up the tool. Step 1 is to establish the general settings for the tool itself. The second step is to create the actual connection between your local computer and the remote web server. Let's start with the general settings. Begin by clicking the EQFTP icon on the right side of the brackets window. The side panel window will appear. Click the COG icon at the top which opens the connection manager. In the Connection Manager, the first item is where on your computer your web project or site is stored. In this video, I will be using an htdocs folder within a local XAMPP installation, but you could choose any location on your machine. Click on the text box and a file dialog box will open, allowing you to browse to the location. Click the desired folder then click the Open button. The path to the destination will be stored in the text box. The folder for settings allows you to store all of the FTP settings in a different location from the project's folder. The developer of this tool recommends storing the settings in a cloud drive for easy access on different machines. You can store it wherever you want. Click in the text box and a file dialog box will appear. Browse to where you want to store the settings file and click open. The path to the location will appear in the text box. The master password checkbox will allow you to set a password for the settings file and the file will be encrypted. The developer warns that the password cannot be restored if lost, and changing working connections, to be discussed in the second video, can trigger a requirement to enter the password. You will need to decide if this is important for you. For this video, I will not require a master password. The notification button allows EQFTP to notify you when connections are made, disconnected, or changed. The notifications are generally unobtrusive. In this video, no, I will enable notifications. The next checkbox will allow EQFTP to switch the FTP connection when a working folder for that connection is activated in brackets and vice versa. I will enable this option. The date format can be set based on how you typically see dates. The default is US format. I will leave this as is. Finally, the debug option will enter every action the EQFTP tool takes into a log. This is not recommended unless there is a specific problem that you are trying to troubleshoot. This option will be left blank. When done with these settings, click the Save button. A light green strip should appear in the bottom left corner of the Connections Manager window, indicating that the save was completed successfully. 
Then click the Close button. I personally have had a few issues with brackets and the EQ FTP tools not working smoothly. But after a shutdown and restart of brackets, things seem to work better. So at this point, I recommend shutting down brackets, then starting it up again. In the next video, we will create two different FTP connections and show how the EQFTP tool will switch between them.